Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Happy New Year's, and I do hope that you haven't really enjoyed the holidays. Uh, we're back with the Dyson Sphere program today. The plan for today initially was to jump over to another star system. Uh, so if we scroll out here, we can see that we have a vast universe that we can explore and look into. So I wanted to go to something like a B-type star, maybe, or... I don't know, maybe just another K-type could be an option as well. The problem we have, we don't really know what's here. So uh, if we want to go there, we should probably know what we should expect to find there first. And then we can decide what we actually want to, want to do with it. Uh, so the plan here is to build these guys so the information matrix and we need those so that we can get to the next universe exploration that's the plan uh, i'm still not sure really how to get that done i did increase our production of um whatever these are called magnetic coils however we are running a little bit low on the production of iron ore instead I might be able to increase that from another another region, but I think we're just gonna leave it as it is now. Uh, hopefully, once this guy actually fills up on, on the magnetic coils, we should be in fairly decent condition anyway. So, uh, we have the purple lovely things right here. We have actually do already have the majority of it, so we do already have the processors available on the system. So those we can just import, and then we have whatever these are. Which actually we also kind of have everything on the system for, so uh, we can probably get that done quite quite quickly and quite easily. Where do we have our... Uh, right here is where we are doing our research. So I'm gonna fly over there, I'm gonna set up a tower if we don't have one, where we can bring those guys in. Uh, maybe this guy can be used for that. I don't think you have too much going on. Bring these guys in as local demand. That'll be pretty good. They can come out here. So yeah, I've been, been gone for a little bit while I've been celebrating Christmas. I do hope that you have enjoyed yours. I got the best Christmas present ever. Uh, I just gotta brag a little bit. My partner is like the best. Absolutely fabulous. I've been looking for this mouse for I don't know how long. Guess who got me one for Christmas? Hell yeah. Okay, so it goes there. Yes, so I am actually lack of item. Because we used the wrong one. Yeah, so I'm actually using a uh, Razer V2 Pro now. Viper V2 Pro. Uh, seems really, really good. It's super light. Uh, you know how it is when you get a new mouse. It's like, it like takes a while before you get used to it. And this one feels very, very light. <laughs> Which I guess is nice. I guess that's nice. So there we have the purple stuff. And then we just need to actually produce the purple stuff somewhere. Where do we want to do that? Um, I don't really want to cover this up. I want to use this for if we need even more water at some point. Uh, we could go here, I guess. That's actually quite a okay spot. What are you doing? You are just importing and exporting stuff. So I can put another tower close by to you. And that should be pretty good. Oh, we're actually low on, low on some other stuff as well. How interesting. Need some more platforms, so I'll just go get some more foundation and then we'll continue there. Alright, 6,900 foundations later and we should be good to go. So let's just spam this as much as we can. Uh, actually, don't have enough soil. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, ooh, that's not what we want you to do. That's what you are supposed to do, not you. Not you. 
Uh, we might actually not want to use... No, we do actually need to use iron ore for some of these. Maybe we should be producing magnets, magnets in different places as well. But that's for another time. As I said, we are a bit low on iron ore, so we should probably find a solution for that eventually. So those guys, you are going to need computers, which I'm fairly certain that we do have on the network already. Yes. And also these guys. Uh, where do we have those? These. Local demand. Those I know we do not have. Uh, do we need a lot of them? Not really, huh? I guess we can build one somewhere. We'll go here and build it. See if we can. Maybe I should actually set that up. Yeah. Let's build everything the reverse way, so to say. Gosh, sometimes it's so hard to fly these. Uh, yeah, we will build everything from the back so to say. Get to you there. I always get stuck in these. I don't I don't get it. I <laughs> uh, feel like that would be considered a bug, even if it's a very harmless one. I don't think that would be intended. Uh, so we want to have the orange ones. Oh right, you don't do those here. You actually do those in these guys. Which means that we actually need more of those. Can you give me a matrix labs, please? Something like... Can you give me 50 of them? That is plenty. No match distributor. Didn't we put them on the network? Maybe we didn't. Nope, we didn't. Okay. Um, I still have my awful setup right here. To supply us with stuff. I guess we can use that one. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what you need for one of those, so... Matrix Labs... There, we need steel. There's steel there. Let's see if I have everything that I need to be able to... Build this... No, thank you. Stop that. Alright! So after a lot of if buts and maybes, we finally have a setup where we are producing the anchor slabs. I'm not sure why I didn't set it up in the first place. Feels like quite an obvious thing to include. I mean, we're always gonna have to research, right? <laughs> but apparently not. Uh, so we're gonna limit that to maybe two slots or something like that. And again, I'm gonna have to redo all of my those setups eventually uh, with the mall and everything because it is messy to say the least to say the least apparently diamonds can be burnt as fuel for some reason uh, continuously see it falling into my chamber when i'm just trying to sort my inventory uh, either way, so we have 18 of them now, so we should easily be able to continue our build over... I think we're over here somewhere. Correct. No, right there. That's where we're at. So we're gonna build you up as far as it goes. Cannot go any higher than that. Uh, I mean, you're kind of clipping through that building. They should have a hold shift to remove a stack functionality in this game i think that would be quite good either way we're gonna go here i guess yeah i don't know how many can how many can one of these actually hold do we think so if we want to produce these you're producing one every 10 seconds. We're just gonna go as far as high as we can then. And then we're gonna have... Computers go into here. And we're gonna have those 
go there. And we're gonna have these guys. And then some inserters. Still only have computers here, but that'll be fine. And uh, that will be fine. Wonder if we actually... Do we have enough to... I guess it set those up quite quickly anyway, so... Uh, I'm thinking if we need another inserter, but I, th I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So, uh, let's start. Once we get the these guys over here, the purple signs will get going. Since we already set it up over there as well, it should start researching as soon as that is up and running. So, we want to go here and we want to have some more of these guys. I really do like to use these. They are my favorites. My favorite kind. Still haven't seen one, any of those like proper mountains. Someone told me that there was mountains in the game where you wouldn't have to care about soil anymore. Maybe I'm just blind, but I don't remember seeing that. So we're gonna have these guys, which means that we will need you. Demand. We will need you. And we will need plastics. I'm not sure we have plastics on the network. Doesn't look like it, but I do think that we are producing enough that we should be able to steal some from another place. Either way, there is three things, things that goes into this and one thing that goes out. So if we go like that, we can go... What do you need most? If we're producing the particle broadband, broadband, don't they have fi fiber? Come on now, come on now. So you need two, two and one. So not really that many of anything actually. So that's the only one that we actually don't need on the belts. So that one, that one, and then plastic. And plastic is the only one we don't have. So let's get you all to insert, go there, and then these are just gonna go something like that. So as long as we can get plastics on here, we should be good to go then. I do think, if I'm not mistaken, I do think that we have plastic over here actually. These guys are producing, producing plastic and they are all full. So we're not using that much plastic. Which means that if we follow you down here... What do you have on you? Local supply for all of it. Maybe you should be the one who gets all of the plastic then. Do we need for plastic? Maybe it's worth it to set up a specific plastic production. Plastic, light oil and stuff. Eh. I mean, this is gonna go into our I think we want to have plastic on us specific. Can we get light oil onto here and this? Demand, demand. Do not have any graphite. Do we have any graphite somewhere that we can steal from? I don't think we do. Maybe these? These are also used for... Yeah, these are used for that stuff, so we don't want to use that. We don't want to use that. Um, looks like we should have a lot of coal available, but I don't see that much. 
down here we actually have some let's go there let's get some energetic graphite on their network as well then if we have it right here then we should be able to fairly easily get that done uh, interstellar tower boom nice and we want to have graphite local supply remote say storage okay so i think we have a better production of energetic graphite as well uh, we're still not really building up any graphite but at least we're producing more now so we should have enough that we can get our production of plastics running again uh, i just wanted to see how much graphite we're actually producing that seems to be harder than and what do you think? There we are. Actually producing more than what we are consuming now, so I think we are good to go when it comes to that. So, let us then continue over here. With this guy. Which needed plastic. And we didn't have any plastic anywhere because we needed to go here where we needed graphite and that so we should be able to build the cra the plastic there now then and plastic is produced in one of these chemical labs i think chemical plants right yes two in one out we will have Not that belt. And annoying that we have different belts several over the all over the place right now. So that guy and that guy. And then we're gonna have some inserters. And out there. How much are we producing? One every three seconds, two and one. Nothing really to worry about there. You can go there. There. That is some plastic being produced. It's not super quick. 20 each minute per machine. But I think that should be fine. We'll just need to put plastic on here. Local supply. And yeah, we don't have that much of the energetic crystals or uh, energetic graphite either. But that should be what we need for that. I hope. What is going on here? Are you outputting that or inputting? Local demand. Okay. What if I tell you that you only need actually 5k? You don't need more than that. And then we head over here. And we take a look at you guys that now have everything you need. Does that mean that we are researching? We head over here. We're getting what we need. They're incoming. We'll see. We'll see how long time it takes before it's before we're done with this upgrade. Shouldn't be too long. It's a thousand that we need to produce. Uh, how much are we actually producing? So, research, no production. 0 0.4 every minute. That is not very many. Why are we not able to... No, oh, because we have like no one out of these. That would explain why we're not building anything. Let's expand the production of these. These guys are producing one every eight seconds. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of them than what we have built so far. Okay, so now we should be producing some more than what we were before. We're producing 15 every minute now. Okay, yeah, so we're not gonna do a lot of research here then. Where do we have the 
research. 5.6 every minute. 6 every minute. It's gonna take a while. So let's extend these a little bit more and that way we can get some more production in there. Okay, here we go. We're up to 50 per minute now, and it's actually red that we are slightly behind on, but that's probably because we haven't been producing. I would hope that we are kind of full on red still. Yeah, I think we're fine. We're not having production in all of those. Okay, great. I'll be right back once we have unlocked the next region or the option to actually look into it at least so i'll see you in about four minutes i guess okay so here we go uh, it looks like we just finished up the research that we needed and research is actually running really really nice and we're not having like massive amount of hashing 720 hash per second Considering the pace I play the game, I think that's fine. I don't need it to be super quick. But more importantly, we should now be able to see where we are and where we can get. So if we go for... You are three light years away. You are five light years. You are four light years. Let's look at this one first. Uh, we have a lot of iron, not very much core, and silicon. A lot of titanium, though. So let's look at the ones around here. There we have a lot of stuff on it. We don't have that much coal, but I don't think we need that much coal. coal. We have some fire ice and kimberlite ore as well there. And here we have a lot of stuff except for coal. And you have a lot of everything except for silicone. Okay. So I think this is what we want to go for. I think this is probably where we want to head. Zeta Corvi. I have no clue how to actually pronounce that. But uh, we're going to go there. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Uh, input. I guess we can burn some coal. That's fine burn you as well we have plenty of power here so we don't need to reset that uh, do we have any miners 17 of them we do want to have a bit more than that we're gonna need some power as well question is we want to go with solar power maybe we can get a shit ton of solar panels with me and we can fill that up if that doesn't work, we also have energy exchangers, but we can use those to actually send power instead, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna fill my inventory with the solar panels, and then we are going to head out, and we're gonna head that way. Let's see how this goes. Make a core level 4, that's some more energy. I might actually have wanted to do... I think I'm gonna go back and refuel and then we'll head out with full fuel in the mech at least. I think that is a decent idea. I don't wanna run out of fuel in the middle of nowhere and then... Because I've never gone to another planet so we might just get stuck if that's the case. I would prefer not to, to have that happen. Okay, let's try again. We are going that way. Towards that thing. So how does it work when you go into warp speed then? Like... How fast engine drive level is not high enough to burn on the warp. So do I need to go even faster? Faster! Faster! Okay, 2,000. 
warp engine drive the drive engine level is not high enough turn on the what engine drive but I did unlock didn't I unlocks mecha warp well that's a fail we're gonna do that one first then <laughs> what the hell okay all right then uh drone engine Good power sure Oh, I've been traveling all this time. How far do we take until we are there? That is uh, an hour and 30 minutes. You think the upgrade will finish before them? <laughs> I'm just gonna cruise until the warp is available and working. It's 15 minutes. Let's hope we don't need anything more because then I'll be 15 minutes out into space and... It might not be great. It appears that if you don't want to, you could probably go there without a warp drive. It'll just take you a very, very, very long time. On a good note, I'm about 20 astronomical units out from my home zone or my home system. And we have about nine minutes left for our warp engine to unlock. This is such a human way of, of travel, right? Here we are in the middle of space with like the hope that we might research an engine that can take us either to where we want to go or home again before we die. <laughs> Luckily, we're not using any fuel, so that's good. Technically, I could probably cruise all the way there. It will take me an hour and 23 minutes now. But yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time anymore. I'll be back once we are at the station, or at least once we are in warp. Okay, so any second now we should be seeing the warp drive come into effect. Should be just a few seconds. It's been about 15 minutes that I've been drifting through here and... Let me tell you, it's probably doable, but it's not very fun. <laughs> it is probably doable, but it's not very fun. You unlock the warp. Use caps lock key to switch on a warp. Each time activating the warp will consume space warper times one. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Are we ready to go? Hit it, Scotty. Wow. That's kind of cool. Do I fly past this if I continue going? Yeah, I do, right? Yeah. Okay, you completed a warp travel. That is so cool. Okay. Um. So let's have a look at this solar system then, see what we actually have here. Looks like we have three... Yes, that's a star. So we have three different planets. We have one with a lot of copper and silicon. We have one with a lot of copper and iron, as well as titan or uh, titanium ore. And we have one with a lot of nothing. Maybe I'll use this one for smelting them. To just set this up to smelt literally everything for me. And then bring it all from these other two 
two guys. I think that should be pretty good. Let's start by going here. Theta Corvi 1. We're actually running quite low on fuel there, so I'm gonna take it a little bit slow. Actually, we should have brought, brought heating guys in here. Planet Explorer! Sun rises in the um, west. <laughs> yes. Uh, this planet is going to be used for mainly iron and copper, but also titanium. We have almost no coal. Really good solar energy though, so I'm literally just gonna set up a bunch of solar energy here. And then for the other planet, this guy we're gonna use for silicon mainly, but also copper and stone we can get from there. And then we're gonna ship everything out to here and use this planet as sort of a, a uh, basic production area, just like one of our lovely commenters has suggested earlier. So that is our, our plan, I would say. Uh, we have quite a long episode already, so I think I'm gonna leave it here and we'll pick up in the next episode. Probably in between episodes I'll set up and do some preparations so we can get going with the next episode in uh, fairly good manners at least. Thank you so very much for watching this time around. I really do appreciate it. We were so close to hitting 200 subscribers in the last year. So let's see if we can push for that during January at least. That would be really, really fun. Uh, other than that, I just want to say thank you so very much for spending your time with me. And I want to say, of course, Happy New Year's and good continuation of the next coming or coming. It's already here. It's a good continuation of the current year, I guess. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.